Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I've got more TF2 commentary playing as a soldier on the Reddit West Coast server, I believe. So I might be a little bit rough on the lag here because I do have a relatively high ping. I believe it's 150 or so, but it doesn't really matter because we have rockets and explosions and who cares about direct hits. Anyway, this is not going to be about that or about the Reddit server at all. This is basically going to be about the secondary that I'm using right now, which is the Righteous Bison. Of course, I'm still using the stock rocket launcher, as you can already tell, and I'm using the escape plan for obvious reasons, because I like to be able to, well, run when I'm dying. But beyond that, it's going to be mainly about my perspective on this Righteous Bison weapon that you can now see on the screen, and why I think, or what I think about it is good, but also what I think about it is bad, and just my general perspective and opinion about the weapon in general. So that said, I think it's important to uh, let you guys know as well that I've started a new series on my channel, which is basically an Orcs Must Die playthrough with stuff. I'm going to be talking about stuff during the playthrough. Like, it's very hard to keep up a, um, a good commentary during that game, but I really enjoyed playing the game. So I kind of figured it's a good opportunity to just talk about things that are important to me or perhaps things that I would like to talk about or to address or just, you know, touch the surface on. And just perhaps even make a discussion going or get a discussion going or just, you know, even take subjects from you guys if you want to see me talk about certain things or hear my thoughts about certain, you know, events or whatever. You can post it all in the comment section below in these videos. I will post a uh, two links in the description box. Link one will be to part one, which is an, in uh, an introduction, a... Um, Basically, the explanation to why I started the series a little bit more in depth. And part two is a proper example or a proper taste of the series where I actually talk about why I haven't joined a network yet. So if you are wondering to what my thoughts on that are, then I would recommend clicking on part two. Link will be below. And that should get you sorted. But we have been talking for quite a bit now, so I think it's about time we get into TF2 properly right now. And this is a very good example right here to why the Righteous Bison is in fact a good weapon. Not the most perfect example, I think the best example, or at least one of the greater examples to why the Righteous Bison would be good, is on a different map. Like for example on Barn Blitz, the first control point. But what is the Righteous Bison? The Righteous Bison is basically a weapon that you use not to kill, but to harass extremely well uh, on a large distance on points that allow you to hit multiple people. So, for example, choke points. And the reason why I say um, barn blitz, because if you look at the first point on barn blitz in that little uh, cave-in and you also have that sniper position that looks directly on that choke point, you just stand there as a soldier and you spam your... Well, you're right, just bison, and you can hit multiple people perfectly on the choke point because that bomb has to go through there. So you're basically standing on the sniper position doing your thing, and a lot of people can argue that it's better than to use your rocket launcher because it does more damage. Yes, it probably will be better to use your rocket launcher. That, by the way, was a uh, mistake. I misclicked, so I actually hurt myself there, but... The problem is with getting nice AoE damage from a fairly long distance as a soldier is that the angle will be off. Like, if you shoot downward from a downward angle you can basically get perfect splash damage if you aim right if you shoot at a upward angle you're not gonna go and not gonna get any splash damage on the ground because your rocket is going up not going down if you are going to shoot rockets from a fairly large distance on the same level of the ground you're standing on it's going to be very hard to get that perfect placement on that splash damage because the hitbox will be triggered earlier before the rocket actually hits the ground and this is also why I'm pointing out that I'm standing on that sniper position on this example. So, also, even if the rocket gets blocked by somebody in the way, all the people behind him will not get that damage. The Righteous Bison goes through everyone and practically everything until it actually hits a wall or the ground. And da damages all the people once or even twice if you're lucky. So, it's perfectly for long-range harassment. But at the same time, it basically changes the way you have to play your soldier because you can't really go in effectively. Because normally if you run out of rockets, like you rocket jumped and you release some rockets and you do some nice damage. But once you're out of rockets, you can't fall back properly to your shotgun when you are in range, like in close range. Because the only way to be effective on close range is with your rockets, but then you risk your, your basically harming yourself. Which means you give an additional uh, advantage to your enemy. Then you can also pull out your 
right just by him, but that's, that's not going to be really effective on close range as compared to the shotgun, of course. So the enemy you're fighting on close range, like really close range, think about scout close range, is still going to have an advantage over you because the righteous bison won't do as much damage as a shotgun, especially when you're out of rockets or when you are already at significantly low health and you have rockets, but then you have to kill yourself to get a kill. So then it becomes a trade-off. So if you are going to use the righteous bison, you definitely want to keep yourself from a relatively good distance, which makes you, uh, which at the same time also makes you more vulnerable uh, when it comes down to pyros, because you can't, your the main damage output that you can do when you are using the righteous bison as your secondary is your rocket launcher. But you can't really use rockets against decent pyros, or they will basically reflect them against you. Then you can also use the righteous bison, which can't be reflected, so that's a given, but once they get very close to you, they will burn your face off faster than you can blast their face off with your laser, you know what I mean? So you open yourself up for a lot of vulnerability, even though your harassment from a long distance becomes a little bit more effective depending on the choke point, depending on the map. So like, once again, Barnabas is a very good example. And also there are some very good points on this map where you can use the Righteous Bison pretty effectively. So that's a very good thing. But at the same time, do I think it's better than the shotgun? Absolutely not. I think that the, the way a soldier is supposed to be played, like you have to rocket jump, you have to be at the front lines, you have to be you know, a powerful force to be reckoned with and not stand on a sniper position just so you can harass so your other team members can be effective. You know what I mean? If you are going to stand on a sniper position as a soldier, you're probably better off being a sniper and getting headshots. But nonetheless, it's still very fun to use, and if the situation is right, and the map is right at the same time, you, you can definitely cause significant amount of damage, even enough damage to make them retreat, or you know, to se severely help your uh, team to get their kills, because you, you can't do a lot of damage, because the Righteous Bison can actually hit multiple times on the same target. And the, the best part about the Righteous Bison is when it comes down to Engineers, now this sounds a bit weird, because the Righteous Bison actually does less damage against buildings, but we all have seen these engineers that camp behind their sentries, use wranglers, or just have a awkward angle on their sentry, so you can't really hit them properly, and they still, and even if you do damage them with your rockets, they heal up the sentry quicker than you can damage it from a large distance. And also, they, if they take damage themselves, the, well, the dispenser, the, the level 3 dispenser will outheal your damage. So it's not getting you anywhere, especially when you have a team that doesn't really help you as well. So what you can do with the Righteous Bison is just shoot at the sentry. Because it will go through the sentry and the engineer will take a pretty decent damage, which will not be outhealed by a dispenser if you keep up your damage. So you can actually, if the engineer doesn't move, you can actually kill the engineer while it's trying to take cover from damage, which is actually very powerful if you think about it. At the same time, if he does move, then he either has to heal his sentry, or he has to move away from his dispenser, and the hitbox on the Righteous Bison is fairly big, which also reminds me, if you are going to shoot from an upward angle, or if you're going to use an upward angle to shoot, which for me is fairly difficult to do with a rocket launcher, because I'm a fairly bad air shooter, you know, you are actually able to hit people that are above you or on the high ground a little bit more effectively than you would be able otherwise if you are a bad airshot like me, because shooting upwards is similar to an airshot. And getting that direct hit sometimes is fairly difficult if you play against good people. Especially when I tried MGE, I kind of figured it out the hard way, because I was on the high ground and then the soldier was using his righteous bison against me. So that's also a fairly good thing for the Righteous Bison, when you have to shoot upward. Anyway, this is about it. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to let me know what you think, and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.